What's going on my fellow rock and rollers? Don't forget to smash the bell notification button to be notified every time I upload a new video on my channel. And today I want to talk about a time when radio host Howard Stern saved Scott Ian of Anthrax. How did he do this? Stay tuned to find out. The year was 1997 and Anthrax guitarist Scott Ian got himself in some hot water with the baseball team, the New York Yankees, which he loved since he was a kid. The baseball club was down in Florida as part of their spring training camp before the season was to start and Ian also happened to be in Florida at the time and one morning he found himself so intoxicated that he tried to break into the team's camp and steal an on-deck batting circle carrying the team's logo. Ian would be joined by a 23-year-old friend named Angela Roberts and they would jump the fence at Legends Field at about 4.30 in the morning. The pair would be caught on security cameras trying to drag their heavy foam mat back to their car and upon returning to their car, they'd be promptly arrested by the cops. According to MTV News, the pair also tried to take a folding cushion chair emblazoned with the Yankees logo, and apologetic Ian also told MTV News that he did sprint around the bases, and his subsequent attempt to collect a few souvenirs were caused by, as he put it, 24 years of being a Yankees fan, plus a bottle and a half of too much red wine, he'd say. Ian would also add that while he was really sorry for what he did, he had a good time while he was doing it, and was hoping for the charges to be dropped. Fast forward now a month later, and Scott Ian would call into the Howard Stern radio show, and also on the line at that time was Yankees owner George Steinbrenner, who was a good friend of Stern. According to the fan site MarksFriggin.com, which has provided a summary of every Howard Stern show since 1995, Stern had Ian call into the show to see if Mr. Steinbrenner would give the Anthrax guitarist a break. During the call, Ian claimed he had never done anything like this before, and he was simply trying to impress a girl. Now for his part, Steinbrenner said that Ian sounded like a sincere and nice young man, and he would look into the charges and see what he could do. Once Steinbrenner got off the call with Stern, that's when the conversation with Ian got interesting. Even though Ian was with a female companion during the drunken incident in Florida, he also had a wife back home, which of course Stern focused on. Ian would admit during the interview that his wife and him have an agreement that they're allowed to date people outside of their marriage, and he would claim it was his wife's idea as she would end up bringing it up on their wedding anniversary. A few months after appearing on Stern's show, Ian would reveal he ran into George Steinbrenner at the Yankee Stadium telling Guitar World, I saw Steinbrenner at a game a few months ago after he called into the Howard Stern show. We had spoken but never actually met, so I was in the Time Warner box and he was in his box, which is right next to it. I stared at him and we made eye contact. I guess maybe at some point he had seen a picture of me just to see who this guy was. He looked right at me, shook his finger, and shook his head like, no, 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 and I started laughing. It was a really cool moment, he'd say. Now the charges would end up being dropped, and fast forward to 2011, Scott Ian and his band Anthrax were playing a big four metal show at Yankee Stadium alongside Metallica, Megadeth, and Slayer, and he gave an interview where he was asked about the incident, and he clarified what actually happened that night. He would say, I didn't steal anything, I was accused of trying to. I had broken into Legends Field in Tampa, which is the spring training facility at 3 in the morning. Basically, I wanted to go look at the Thurman Munson monument, I ran around the bases like an idiot, and then when I left, the cops were waiting for me. So long story short, I got to apologize to George Steinbrenner on the Howard Stern Show, and they ended up dropping all the charges. Ian at the end of the day would only spend a few hours in jail, pay a small fine, and apologize to George Steinbrenner. That concludes today's story. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. If you guys want to support my channel, simply watch another video, or go check us out on Patreon. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.